Greetings, it is I, Tantus Narvan Jacobin, Lord and Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, and welcome. It is time to continue my discussion on D20 Modern, the modern take on the third edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Well, where we last left off, we started talking about your friends and your foes, the creatures you can encounter. We talked about building them. Let's talk about what the information in their description means, so that you should you look at the description of one of these creatures, you understand what all this information provided means to you. So the first thing that you're going to see is the CR, or challenge rating of the creature in question. Challenge rating represents how difficult it is to overcome and defeat this creature. This number is representing that four characters of a level equal to that CR can defeat this creature and only exhaust a quarter of their resources. Basically, our team of four can take on four of these enemies before they are exhausted and at the point in time where they have no more resources, bullets, meds, anything like that that they would need in order to continue to combat. You have to consider that this is not quite a static number, that circumstances can alter CR depending on what's going on. If a creature has an advantage, you have to consider that it will be more difficult to fight. So this is just a base number of a side for side straightforward fight. As soon as some kind of thing alters one of the sides, it's going to change how this CR is reflected. Now the next thing up is of course size, which we talked about a little bit here last week. Size, there are nine categories of it. When you really look at size, it's there to determine how big it is, basically. There are some things number-wise that it does. S bigger you are, lower defense you have, and you get a penalty to attack. The opposite is true. The smaller you are, you've got a bonus to attack and a bonus to defense. You also, as you get bigger, it's harder for you to hide. There are other modifiers that incur. If you're looking at a creature's block of statistics, it will already have all these numbers factored in. If you're creating one on your own, which we did talk about, the general modifiers are listed under a table in the book. So you could look there, check what it is, if, if it's something you're building yourself. But if it's something that already exists, don't have to worry about it. Now, type is basically a group definition of the type of creature you have. It helps determine ability scores, base attacks, saves, skills, feats, other abilities. Uh, generally speaking, if there are universal abilities throughout the type, they will list those here, that every one member of this type normally has this ability. It will list them there. It Type, basically, is a definition of what kind of creature it is. There are 15 different ones listed in the book, and it is important to note you may not have more than one type on a creature. It's either this type of creature or this type of creature. Now let's talk about what these types are. There's aberrations. Aberrations are creatures with alien minds, unusual bodies, or even unusual abilities, or some kind of combination of these three things, things that are outside the normal realm of, well, normalcy. Animals are non-humanoid vertebrates without any kind of special abilities and usually no language or no culture. So they're just that, animals. Constructs are either animated objects or, or artificially constructed creatures, as simple as that. They are mich things made of a material. They are created. Dragons are traditionally reptilian creatures, most of the time with wings, not necessarily with wings, with usual great amounts of supernatural powers that are quite devastating. Elementals are creatures built out of the primary elements of the universe, earth, fire, wind, water. Fey creatures are magical beings, traditionally with some kind of connection to nature or some kind of similar power that usually have a humanoid shape. Giants are basically humanoids but of incredible size and usually incredible strength, that they are known for their incredible strength. Humanoids are just that. They usually have very few special abilities, special powers, and they have the basic form of a human. They look a lot like us. We're technically humanoids too. 
magical beasts are oftentimes much more intelligent, but they also might have strange magical abilities, appearances, or habitats that they live in. So they are similar to animals, only magical. Monstrous humanoids are humanoids with like animalistic or beast-like features that oftentimes have great amounts of magical abilities. Oozes are amorphous and malleable creatures that just are oozes exactly that. They're amorphous and malleable creatures. Outsiders are non-elemental creatures from either another re level of reality, another plane of existence that exist there, that usually have very powerful supernatural abilities. Plants are just that. They're vegetative creatures. Undead are creatures that were once dead, raised up, but still basically an animated dead created through spiritual or supernatural forces. And vermin are just that. They're like insects, arachnids, or other similar invertebrates. Now that we've talked about all the types of creatures that do exist, let's talk about some next part of their statistics. Hit dice and hit points. A creature's hit dice, or HD, is effectively a representation of what its level should be. This level that it has does make alterations to some of its statistics. Things like its FX powers or special powers, many of its things like skills for max ranks, all this kind of information is dependent on, of course, its hit dice. This alters it and changes it. Now, this isn't, it also does help with how kind of recovery it has and how it recovers abilities and strength over its types of arrest. When we talk about hit points or HP, this is determined by both hit dice and constitution modifier. Your hit dice will tell you the kind of dice that will be rolled. The constitution modifier will tell you how each is modified. Very similar to a character and their levels in constitution, it's hit dice and constitution for these creatures. Average amount of hit points is provided in the book, which you can take the average, or if you're using one of these creatures, you are allowed to technically roll yourself and have variety in the amount of hit points it actually has. That is an option. So, that's it for today. I went over some more information about creatures. I started talking about their statistics. I talked about their challenge rating, how difficult they are to overcome, their size, how big they are in the actual world, their type. I went over just a little bit of basic information about all the types of creatures that are out there that you can encounter. And the type itself does divide down very efficiently categories of types of creatures rapidly. So that if you fill into one of these categories, you're that type of creature. And it's kind of obvious. Then I did mention hit dice and hit points at the end there, which is effectively how much damage you're going to have to deal with this thing to knock it down. And hit dice will determine a lot of numerical basis for this creature too. So these are two other important statistics. In the next episode, we're going to dive deeper into the creature statistics because there is more to talk about. And hopefully we'll finish up talking about them overall. But if you have any questions, comments, anything you would say, anything you think I left out, please leave in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It shows you for the channel, the empire, the work I do. If you want to show some extra support, you can check out my Patreon. Link in the description below. There's some great rewards there. It helps to grow and improve the channel. But regardless, until the next time, I bid you farewell.